Hey, how's it going guys? So my name is Nathan Murphy and this is actually just kind of going to be my little cheesy introductory video um, to my YouTube channel and to be completely honest, I've been going back and forth uh, with regards to whether or not I should actually start a YouTube channel uh, over the last few months and I've just kind of finally decided to just make a little introductory video and throw it out there and just see if it kind of sticks or resonates with anyone else and the journeys um, that other people are going through and see if that you know relates to mine at all. Um, I know my situation isn't completely unique and I really do feel like what I've been going through over the last couple of years uh, is probably pretty similar to what a lot of other people are experiencing in their lives and so I figure if there's you know anything that I've learned along the way that might be a benefit to other people that could hear and understand and learn from uh, my story as well, then that's worth, uh, you know, just throwing out there and um, just letting other people hear about. And so basically kind of what I want to focus in on in this channel is more than anything to just talk about my journey and where what I've been through over the last few years and, you know, kind of where I've come from, where I'm looking to head into in the future. And um, so with that being said, just focus kind of in and around specifically business and entrepreneurship, as well as um, not only that, but also, you know, working, working a corporate job while wanting to pursue business and entrepreneurship. And, you know, how does that all balance out? What does that look like? How does someone actually, you know, do that? And because I know there's a lot of people that are in uh, the similar situation um, with that whole balancing act and whatnot. And so I won't get too much into that in this video. Really all I wanted uh, with this was just a simple introduction. Uh, once again, my name is Nathan Murphy. I'm from Washington State here in the great country of uh, America, as you can see from behind me. And uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, I'm from a, a small town. I grew up with five other brothers and sisters. I had some awesome parents. Uh, my dad actually ran his own business. Um, growing up, so I always looked up to him and um, everything that he did in that. I really um, aspired to want to be like him and, and do what he did uh, one day. And so I kind of always had that in the background of my mind uh, growing up. And so actually when I was in middle school, I don't know if you would consider it a super legitimate business, but uh, just to give you an idea of my uh, entrepreneurial tendencies and when those began, uh, in middle school I just started actually mowing people's lawns uh, for them. And so, you know, I would just knock on neighbors' doors, uh, find out, you know, who my parents knew that maybe might need help. And so, you know, every spring I got super busy and would make a, you know, nice chunk of change, a substantial chunk of change. And uh, when I got into high school, I continued doing the same thing. And I just remember a uh, majority of my friends working, you know, minimum wage jobs and making whatever it was then, you know, like seven fifty, eight dollars $8 an hour. And, you know, I would be mowing these lawns and doing landscaping for some of my customers. And in a matter of hours, you know, I would make what they make in the span of half a week or even a week sometimes. And so I really did enjoy that flexibility and the fact that I was kind of doing something different than what a large majority of my friends were actually doing uh, themselves. And so I kind of just having that in the background of my mind, I knew that I wanted to do something entrepreneurial in business at one point or another in my life. I just didn't know exactly when or how or what that would look like, um, but I, you know, so I finished high school and I was kind of an athlete. I played some soccer. So I went on to play some college soccer at just a, a smaller private university. And, you know, just kind of had that similar mindset to what a lot of people do uh, today. And there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, I just, I pursued uh, college and uh, it, took me, it took me a while actually. Uh, I went two years to a private university, played soccer both those years and was studying business. And I uh, ended up deciding to just kind of leave and reevaluate my life and really just reconsider what I was really looking to go after. Um, I, 
I honestly didn't have anything like specific in mind that I was trying to figure out or understand. I really just wanted to grow and get to know myself more before I graduated and headed out into you know the real world, so to speak. And so I actually ended up kind of helping my dad's business uh, on and off for a little bit. And then I ended up working with a, a volunteer mission organization uh, for a few years. And that was just a, an awesome experience. I got to go uh, to Asia, to South America. Um, I went to, let's see, where else did I go? Europe. Um, and so I just got to, you know, kind of travel the world and, and go to a lot of different places and just volunteer and really help out uh, local people. This organization that I was with actually focused on, um, I mean, clean water catchment systems and teaching English at um, different small schools and villages. And so whatever we could do to help volunteer and enrich local communities, that's kind of what this mission organization uh, was all about. And it was actually, yeah, just an, an amazing time for me. And so um, in the middle of all that, I actually met a buddy of mine and he told me about this other school um, that actually had a pretty good soccer team. And this was a couple years later. And so I had, I had no plans of thinking that I could go back and, and play uh, college soccer again. But after, you know, him telling me about it, I ended up trying out and, and getting another uh soccer scholarship and going back and actually uh, finishing my business degree after being out of university uh, for about three years. And so that was a pretty amazing feeling to be able to go back and, and play soccer at even a higher level and to finish you know, what I had started in business uh, years before that. And so I finished my bachelor's degree uh, in business. And from there, I really, uh, I wasn't trying to fully transition into entrepreneurship right away. I kind of always just had in my mind that I would work some corporate jobs for a while and then from there um, would hopefully be able to transition into um, my own business. And so, um, yeah, just looking around for a bunch of jobs and I eventually found a, a sales job and it was actually with a uh, Xerox uh, Corporation, uh, yeah, selling copiers. And so that was a, a crazy experience. Um, it's not something that I enjoyed at all, but there was a lot of uh, good lessons that I learned uh, in that. And, you know, I learned just the importance of being able to sell. And, you know, as um, there's a really, a really good sales guy that says, you know, you're either selling or you're being sold. And I learned that, you know, firsthand experience uh, going door to door and, you know, pitching different customers on, on our products. And, and so, yeah, so this kind of, this set me on the path um, of the last, so that was last year that that happened. And so, oh, excuse me, two years ago. And so that kind of just set me on the path. Um, ever since that job, I started thinking about you know, doing entrepreneurial things um, because I just kind of felt that um, maybe the whole nine to five wasn't the best option for me, um, but it was something that I needed to pursue out of necessity. And it was something that I wanted to be uh, consistent with, you know, out of necessity. But in the back of my mind, I did have some entrepreneurial um, inclinations, you know, as I've been talking about that I really wanted to be able to pursue, but I just felt like I should, you know, keep doing what I was doing, um, working in the corporate job. And so in this uh, next video, I'm actually gonna just go into more detail, but just kind of continue on with my journey and finish talking about that. I really didn't want to go too long. This is kind of just like a, a little introductory video. Again, uh, sorry for the quality. I did, I shot this literally on my iPhone. I did, uh, I did like one take and I don't really even know what I said. I guess the, the one lesson you guys can take away is, you know, just get started. Uh, whatever it is you're looking to do, just get started, just jump in. And I know that's way easier said than done because me personally, like I was complacent. I was uh, questioning what I should, what I shouldn't do. And, you know, it's totally understandable. It's like a natural uh, human tendency, I think, to want to question and 
and really begin to understand like should is this something I should actually you know do is it something that I should not and so I would say you know it is easier said than done but you know you can always try and just you know jump in and take some sort of action and so you know if nothing else I just want to let you guys know that you know taking action uh, has definitely helped me a lot in my life and so yeah that was just a little bit of my journey and in this next video that I post I'll um, kind of bring you up to speed up to the current date and where I'm at today and so yeah thanks for watching I appreciate it and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one all right